JT, we're here again. We are here again. You get to play the new League of Votan stuff. I do. Stuff. Again. 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 This time though, I'm going to try to give you a run for your money with a very unorthodox Ultramarines Force. So Attack does not get to play Votan again. He just has to paint them. So now I kind of feel he's out for vengeance. I get to play all the new units, but I haven't tested any of them out yet. So this is going to be a battlefield of crimson and someone is going to come out with a bruised ego. There will definitely be some fried adventurers. And at the end of the day, we'll see who comes out the victor. Here's a hint, it's probably Kevin. Greetings 40K fans. Welcome to Leagues of Votan versus Ultramarines as JT and Tac square off in a battle of all the new stuff and all the two up armor of contempt Tac can possibly fit into a list. Hey, I'm Tac and today I get to play the Ultramarines versus a brand new Votan. I'm JT, I'm the resident dwarf enthusiast and I'm here to play against some Ultramarines with some silly two up armor against my void armor shenanigans. It's gonna be fun. I've brought what I feel is a pretty unorthodox list. I had an epiphany that if I was going into high damage, high output guns, I was going to bring up as much two up armor with uh, armor of contempt as I can. Tack would call his list unorthodox. I would call it ridiculous jank. I kid. It's just quasi ridiculous jank. Tack is fielding all the ultramarines with two up armor and armor of contempt. He's got a Primaris Tech Marine and a regular Tech Marine. The only unit without a two-up armor save is his Infiltrator Squad. He's got a Leviathan Dreadnought, which is actually one of our name pieces from our patrons. This is Plus Ultra Invictus. He's got Victrix Honor Guard, a Sakaran Battle Tank with a 100 killer missile, a Sakaran Venator with a 100 killer missile, Raboot Gilliman, Rubber Duck Gilly Balls, and he's got an Astraeus. Somehow, with all three detachments, he still gets six command points. Games Workshop very graciously sent us a lot of the new uh, Leagues of OTAN models, but I get to play all the new stuff that isn't out yet. I'm running these guys as the Emir conglomerate for that extra range and invulnerable save, and to be able to pull off some teleport shenanigans. I've got a Broke Your Forge Master. This is Theo the Mechanic. I have a Lord Grimnir, so I can cast some spells. Woohoo! Dwarfs with spells. Wait, what? I've got an Iron here champion who has the Exactor. You've seen Smack Daddy before, but this is Eugene Bosshart, the next Smack Daddy. I've got High Call Franz returning because he needs to redeem himself. Hearthkin Warriors with bolters and a Magna Rail and all the Gribbly upgrades. Hearthkin Warriors with Ion Blasters. Five Chthonian Berserks with Concussion Mauls, and I've got one with a Mole Grenade Launcher. Some Hearthguard with Plasma Guns and Concussion Gauntlets. Hernkin Pioneers with an Ion Beamer. A Sagittar with a Mater Autocannon. Broke your Thunderkin with three conversion beamers and the granddaddy Hecaton Land Fortress with a heavy Magna Rail cannon. I start with no command points, so this could be rough, but I do have all the things. I have not had the opportunity to play with these. We've been painting these um, like mad. The list is a bit of a mishmash because it's what we have and we wanted to show the new stuff. So I'm not sure how it's gonna perform, but uh, I, I think Void Armor can pull me through, and I think Magnum Rails could do some work. So I, I think I got a real good shot at this. Today's mission is Death and Zeal from the Nephilim Grand Tournament book. Tack and I will score primary points for holding one, two, and more than each other, as well as up to three primary points per turn for killing a unit on an objective or holding a new No Man's Land objective. If we manage both of those, we scored three. Just one of them gets us two. I've taken as secondaries the Ancestors are Watching, scoring points for killing judged units, bring it down because Tack has all the tanks, and retrieve Nephilim data because I should be able to sneak eight points out of it. Tack has taken Assassination, and with four characters in my list, why not? He also has taken Oath of Moment because, well, Space Marines, and Raise Banners High. That's an interesting choice with so few infantry in his list. Me and JT spent the last almost 18 hours yeah. painting. Why we did that is because we have a new sponsor. I really want to thank today's sponsor, Creature Caster. Creature Caster will be carrying a new paint line, Cuttlefish Colors. We got sent the entire paint line and we were really excited to try it out. We got new models and we got new paints. Bit of a rush job and there was actually quite a bit of learning. For me and the team, that's including Mubin, that's including JT, we all got to try these new paints. We quickly found out that they're not a fast paint to use. They did, however, render incredible results if you took the time. For me personally, I came into this hobby first as a painter, and then I kind of got into this rhythm of being as fast as I could. That only gets you so far. Using Cuttlefish Colors, I was able to take my painting to another level, and I was getting blends and I was getting control that I'd, I wasn't quite used to. These Leagues of Voltan are Fireball Orange as base, 
Sacrificial Red for its shadow, and Liquid Yam for the highlight. And yes, these names are so much fun. One of the things about these paints is they have incredible paint names. We've been having a lot of fun with them. Oh yeah. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to deal with us. You're gonna see those paint names pop up every now and then with this video. The, far and away though, we both have a favorite paint in this line, don't we? It's Kevin. It's Kevin. It's Kevin. We love Kevin. There may be a lot of puns in this game, which I'm gonna apologize for, but you should check out these paints. I'll, I'll drop my first unit. I'm gonna place my Hecatone Land Fortress. It's gonna be really hard for you to see me. The mechanic goes in there as well as the, and I broke your thunder cane. I'm going to put two Victor's card. But my Chthonian Berserks. Burp, 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 burp. My Berserks are going in my Sagittar. There's a lot of large places to hide. So that benefits both your bigger tanks, as big as I guess the dwarves get. <laughs> And I'm gonna put my Venator right there. My Hernkin Pioneers. Sneaky. I dropped my Infiltrators over there. Knowing that your Pioneers are over, over here, yep. that made it safe for me to deploy over there to try to get that objective early. That is my Hind here uh, Hearthguard. This brave Tech Marine my Sakarin battle tank. I gotta be honest, uh, I wanna go first. The Astraeus scares me, and even though I have void armor, and even though my entire army's got an invuln save. Just so you can try to pin some wounds off of it? That and get points right away. I right now don't have a ton of shots on you. I would be okay with going second. Well, let the dice tell stories begin. You go first. I'm going first. Declaring two command points, I'm going to go down to four to begin and, the game. And redeploy. And redeploy. So I'm gonna actually move these guys up. I know I'm going first. So that bike can get to that objective. Tack doesn't have a ton of units on the board. He doesn't have a lot of ways to score. If I can keep pressuring him to make him come out of the out of his shell, because he is going to want to castle up and get all his rerolls, at least to hit. Thank you, Void Armor. But if I can do that, then I think I really have a shot at, at making his life difficult. Using rapid redeployment and redeploying. So that is one of three. Second one is I do not need this battle tank to simply get shot. Tech Marine. Mm -hmm. Let's have a good game. A great game, man. Here we go. Alrighty then, I get a command point. I've gone up to five, GT is one. I'm going to give the Chapter Master rerolls. I have Teleport Crest on my I'm here Hearthguard. Another advantage of hiding, you're not judging me immediately. Gooch, just a hair forward here. These guys are just gonna move up the Hecaton. They're gonna retrieve Nogman Data. His heavy stuff is in the back. I have a Hecaton Land Fortress. I have some Broker Thunderkin. I have some stuff that can reach out and touch him, but if I poke my head out now, it's an invitation for him to show up and just annihilate me. I really need to be careful. I'm hemming and hawing. I'm putting my hearth guard in the back corner because I can turn one, I can redeploy them with my warp strike relic. That dreadnought scares the bejesus out of me. I can charge it, I can get to it. I don't think I'm gonna risk it turn one. That might be too aggressive. I do have void armor, I have a two up, I have an invul on everybody. I think that's too aggressive. My surprise though is how conservative he's being with the land fortress and with the Sagittar. Those are both transports. I was figuring that he would move them up the board and if he lost those transports, spill out all the stuff inside and gain board control. The dwarves don't move very quickly. So the way to gain board control is with those transports. So that caught me off guard. I'm really surprised that he held back. So I think that's my movement phase completed. It's time for Psychic Phase. I have one of those, Dak. I have three. I'm a Lord Grimnir, so normally Grimnirs can cast two. Lord Grimnirs can cast three. I'm gonna start with Interface Echo. It's Warp Charge five. It goes off, I get a command block. Goes off with a seven. Fortify on that Harkin Squad. Three, that's gonna fail. I'm okay with it. So I think what I'm gonna do is try to strip some Void Shields off. So I'll do the Beamer first into the Sakarin. So I'm gonna go down to four command points. I'm gonna smoke screen. Okay, so at four is to hit the Sakarin. Both hit and then it'll be threes to hit the Astraeus. So re-rolling both of those, and the Astraeus is hit twice. So Sakarin, toughness seven. Toughness seven, yep. So four to wound. If he two goes to AP one. But I don't get a three up. Oh, I take it. So two wounds yes. is down to 12. Uh, Astraeus is T8. Astraeus is T8, So Correct. fives. Uh, one wound on the Astraeus. One void shield with one wound remaining. So then I have uh, six bolt shotgun shot. Threes. Reroll the one. Everything hits. 
But what do you want, like five? Uh, two wounds. So let's see if I can roll higher than a two. I can. Okay, and then the auto counts. Again on threes. Okay, back seven. Magnum Quill, auto cannon, AP one, two damage. Ah, okay. oh, he stripped one void shield. So spending a command point on light him up. They have a search block. So now that Astraeus now has a single judgment token. A single judgment token. From going downtown, uh, my beamer I don't think hits. I think it's 18. But my Magna Rail can. And I hit you. It is strength silly. So it won't you. Five up. Oh, that's not a five. So it's D3 plus three. Void Takes shield. the last void shield. There's no void shields left on this tank. I will complete retrieve Nachman data. It is JT's turn one, and uh, that's me. <laughs> I've scored two points for direct assault, and I've retrieved Nephilim data once. And in my command phase, this tech marine here will do blessings of the Omnissiah on the Sakarian Venator. Same thing on the Astraeus. I have to think points now. This Leviathan Dreadnought mm -hmm. is going to go eight. He wants shots as well as getting me at least two points. Yeah. Victor's guard are going to move out into the open. At the end of the moon phase. End of the movement phase? Uh, in case you can't tell on the overhead, there is an objective marker underneath this brick of resin. Uh, I am going to raise a banner on it. I'm also going to burn a command point, going down to four. I'm doing guerrilla tactics. I'm taking the infiltrator squad and they're coming off table for now. They need to come back out of reserves in the next turn. Uh, also at the end of the movement phase, the Primaris Tech Marine will try to repair the Sakaran battle tank. And I do, uh, it's back up to full. The Venator is going to take all of its shots into the Sagittar. Hitting on twos. Oh dear. Everything hit, even though I'm winning on threes. No rerolls to this. That's right. Uh, they all wound though. Five up in Vault Uh I make two. So I think I'm actually gonna spend my command point, go down to one on a command reroll, and I'm gonna attempt to save that on a five up. I can't hit the box now. But it's okay, I make the save. So I'll be a four up against the bolter shots. Uh, everything hits. Well, of course, you're hitting on twos. So I'm wounding on fives. Yep. Five at AP two, so that's AP one. Five four ups. Uh, I make one, make two. So six damage. I was hoping that I could take you out with one gun so that the stuff would spill out. My battle tank will go into the bikes. Okay. He's hitting on threes. Okay, so I'm actually gonna spend um, Mag Riders. You're minus one to hit the bikes for the rest of the turn. Nine bolter shots, six auto cannon shots. I will fire with the hunter killer. Spend a command point on martial precision and auto hit you. That's a strength 10 hunter killer. Yeah. So I'm wounding on twos. Uh, yes, because I'm tough as five. That is a wound. Puts me on my five up and vulnerable save. Good. Oh, he makes it. You know, how many uh, five ups have you made? Uh, I'm not going to count because I'm not going to jinx it. Tag is questioning my dwarven steel. No, I do not question your dwarven steel. <laughs> you are rolling that pretty baby. hot. So you still hit me on fours though. Yeah, so heavy bolters, these are the wounds on fours. Not a single one. Not doing good. That minus oh. one to hit, baby. Ooh, there we go. Drink seven, I need threes. You do, you do. Give me threes. Two threes and a six. Five of Invon. I make one. Flat three damage each. Flat three damage each? That's three damage. He's got four wounds though. So at this point, I'm gonna make you chew through him. That guy's got one wound remaining. Moving into the Strays for shooting, the only other thing I can see is the Sagittar. Plasma will go into the Sagittar. Every other weapon is gonna go into the bikes. There's a lot of guns. Kellerman gives an Astraeus rerolls. He does. Because void armor! You can't fail two. I can't fail two. I fail one, two, three, four. Pioneers are dead, it's a hundred and some odd points. They did their job. They stuffed his 600 point model back in the corner. That's okay. So how many ex uh, plasma exterminator shots do I get? Pew, 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 pew. Nine shots. Yeah. Winning on threes. You've been rolling hot. No, I failed three. Does it explode? No. Came close. There are five dudes inside. Sagittar dying here, I didn't think he could. I mean, three up, five up, I thought it would live. Now my berserks are way out of position and this isn't not good. I have to deploy them out of the wreck 
to protect my characters. I didn't think I'd have to. Ooh. All right, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose that Leviathan Dreadnought next You're gonna throw turn. I'm gonna throw all of my 100 killer missiles. Bolt, uh, Storm Cannon Rays, 100 killers. Berserks, mm -hmm. uh, hitting on threes, re-rolling ones for Gilliman. So five up in vulnerable save, I'm gonna go with seven. So on the first guy, looking for fives, he's fine. Mm -hmm. Then he dies. <laughs> so one guy's dead. Uh, one guy's taking a wound. He's still good. Nice. He dies. You're rolling actually pretty good. And then third dudes, third guy just barks. So you kill three. Then these are the hunter kill missiles. Land fortress. I'm hoping for a heck of a ton of damage. Yeah, I am toughness eight though. Oh, I drop one. And he can't reroll to wound me because uh, void armor goes to be two, so it goes to a four up, which is my invul. Nope. D6 damage. So hoping for a heck of a ton. Ha ha ha. That's not a heck of a ton. <gasps> you want to charge me? <laughs> Is anything in legal range to charge? Yeah. But I do owe you a leadership check. On a six? Oh no. I've lost four berserks. End of a complete turn one, Tack has scored three on direct assault and two for oaths of moment to put him at a score of five to JT's two as we head into turn two. Killing unit, you get a judgment token. The Astraeus actually gets three. Three because it had one to begin one. with. And it killed two units. I'm gonna put that judgment token over here at the end of your turn. Three points, not a big difference in this turn. I got a lot of pressure coming though, and I can hurt him big time. Do a safety dance and uh, hope that I live through the reprisal from the dwarves. Part of my turn, I score four points for holding one objective. You killed me off the other ones. Mm -hmm. So I gotta go get that. My poor berserks died in the open. With my call, I'm going to give out the full chapter master rerolls to the hearth guard. Broke here, uh, Iron Master is going to give my Hegaton Land Fortress plus one to hit. Now, at the start of my movement phase, I pick these guys up and they're gonna come back at the reinforcement step of this turn. I'll move my Grimnir back over to here. He advances a, a maximum of three. Disembark them up on top of these containers. A hearth guard are coming back in at the end of the turn because of warp strike. Side to side teleport for free. Smack daddy Eugene Bossart. He's dropping down here and he's going to come after. <laughs> Plus Ultra Invictus. Plus Ultra Invictus is going to get smack daddy. Heal my heck, it's on Land Fortress. I'm going to start casting. Interface Echo, warp charge five to give me a command point. Fails with a four. So I'm going to cast uh, Fortify. Mm -hmm. uh, five, I think that fails too. Oh no, really? I'm going to start my shooting phase over here. So grenade launchers and my uh, plasma guns. So this is gonna be uh, strength eight, hitting you on threes, uh, auto wounding you on sixes to hit. Wow. So three auto wounds and these two hit. Toughness? Uh, toughness is only seven, so that is all five wounds. A five up in vulnerable save. So let's see how many I make, if I make any. Oh, I make three, two wounds. However, he also has duty eternal. So you take I only take two wounds. Five D6 shots. <laughs> 23 on three. And six is auto. Six is auto. I'm gonna double check if I'm in half range, I might get an extra AP here. Am I okay? No, I take one wound for my troubles. Yeah, take another wound. I'll take it. The iron here champion is gonna shoot his combi bolter. So three hits. But you need fives. fives. Which I make. You're good. Hey, your Victrix guard, what's their save? They have a two up, three up. I'm gonna shoot him. Okay. Mole grenade launchers. D6 blast at AP two. Woo. Here we go. Six shots. Wow. Call. So you're winning on threes. Can I kill a Victor Scar? You might be able to. Uh, you take a wound off. I have a Relic Dreadnought that I need to kill because it is just, it shoots so many guns. So I've got seven Ion Chargers, Ion Dukes to fire into your Dreadnought. And I've got a Magna Rail to fire into your Dreadnought. So ion shots. Uh, sixes will automatically wound you. Wound you on fives. One more. Yeah. I'm single on threes. And I still take a wound, so that goes down to Two one. down to one, so you go down to 10. Right? I go down to 10. Magna rail time. And it hits. A wound you on a three. Mm -hmm. Wound you with a five. Okay, before it goes to three, it goes to, from my two to five. It's like I have an invuln save. This is why I brought all the two up armor. Right? Oh no. So it goes through. She's a big fella. She's six damage. So that dreadnought is down to five wounds remaining. So the Hecaton's gonna take that Dreadnought down. Let's roll the Magna Rail, see if it hits. So I completely forgot. So now I'm getting desperate. 
I am going to burn a command point on smoke screen. I'm hitting you on fours. A six will automatically wound you. Here we go. That was a, that was a pretty poor shooting phase. Um, you know, I might be able to auto wound, but you got to hit first. So I missed with the mega rail. Can I shoot five wounds down with everything else? You've got a lot of guns well, on that see. thing. Let's see. Mater auto cannon is strength seven. Mm -hmm. Threes, yeah. AP two goes to AP one. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so I'm okay. Being on threes. I missed five times. Oh no. Your AP3 goes to AP2, so my two goes to a four. And I do not make it. That Leviathan Dreadnought is down to four wounds remaining. All right, so my Broke Your Thunderkin are gonna fire into your Astraeus, who has three judgment tokens. Uh, fours will actually hit you twice. All right, so I hit you twice, which becomes, and they automatically wound you. The other two also hit you, but I don't think they automatically wound you. I'm T, yes. So uh, one more wound. Oh, it's flat three damage. Flat three damage. I think I can take that because I do have a Tech Marine here. Magna Rail shot into the Victrix Guard. Though I'd like to hit the Sakaran, I could theoretically wipe the Victrix Guard here. It hits. Strength silly. It wounds. Five. That's a one. Four damage, minimum. Eugene Bossheart is gonna go charge. You're gonna overwatch me. I am gonna overwatch, so I'm spending a command point into the champion. See how many I get. I fail one. Two damage. Goes but down to one. I go down to one. Boss heart is a boss. Gosh, do I need this? Nine! Yeah! So Eugene Smackfather Boss Heart uh, has made his charge in the Dreadnought. I'm gonna wreck this thing. Mine here, Hearth Guard, are gonna go in with the boss. They're gonna come in with it. And I get an eight. Both. Not enough. Five. Fail charge actually keeps me on the center objective, which I'm okay with. That's gonna score me more points. However, I kind of would like some protection for the iron here. Swing in the exactors, my favorite relic. If I hit, a, hit you with a six, is D3 plus three mortal wounds, and that's enough. Here we go. No sixes to hit, but one, two, three hits. Winning on threes. Uh, I only wound you twice. Spending my last command point to reroll to wound. And I get it. I make no saves whatsoever. Well, that makes it real easy. <laughs> I'll roll the damage for fun. So that's six, uh, 14 damage. So Smack Daddy laid a smack down on that Dreadnought's candy ass. Oh my gosh. He absolutely kevin the hell out of it. On a six, you go boom. On a six. Oh, I saw it. Nope. So the Dreadnought is worth 225 points. Uh, my Iron Here Champion is only worth about 120. That's a good trade. I'll take it. it. Scored me three victory points, and it scored me bring it down points, and it scored me Ancestors are watching. One of the gambits that I'm making with this list is not a lot of units, but they are hard units to take down. It took his entire army to take down a single Leviathan Dreadnought. That has left all my other guns up. That has left his Iron Here Champion exposed. My turn two could be really good. In interceptor dudes, but you're gonna be nothing but mummy dust when oh, I'm done. Guess what? I'm hoping to turn this battlefield crimson. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty big turn for you, JT. I am kind of stuck in the corner here, but I feel like I'm pushing forward a little bit. We're going up a command point to three. And I go up one to one. I only am sitting on one objective here. So we're really stifling each other's primary. We are. So. However, that is also a, a raised banner. And away we go. But before we do that, this tech marine is going to tell this Astraeus to be better. <laughs> this tech marine over here is going to tell that Sakaran battle tank to, be, to better. be better. With what little I have, I need to get up to these objectives fast and hold them as best I can. Losing that dreadnought means I don't have that top objective. Mm -hmm. I need to zoom up my Sakaran to take it. Resin brick! Of resin. Brick, brick, brick of resin. Turn. These infiltrators have landed there. Hmm. Lucky Red is going to try to heal up the stress. Hey, I know how this feels. To full. So I'm going to now shoot with the stress. Big cannon as well as its iron hail and go into that unit there. Heavy bolter, go into plasma, is going into the champion. Oh no! I really hate the Astraeus. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I've seen Tack run three of them and it's funny. Last Berserk down there. Tech Marine said, be better. <laughs> I have three wounds and a five up ignore damage. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Just. Just. The Iron Hail. Iron Hail and the Macro, yeah. Uh, Reroll on the one. Into a five. On the fours. Ah, uh, that's two. Four ups. I save them both. Uh, you save them both, which means that it doesn't get rid. I'm gonna ignore one of the big Majuba shots. <laughs> <laughs>
I wanted you not to ignore a big Majuba shot. Yeah. Five ups. Mm -hmm. But you ignore the first one. I do. Because of your medic. And then that would still kill six dudes. Yes. Supercharge the plasma. Yep. Into the champion. So how many shots do I get? Because they're two different guns, I'm rerolling the one for the one shot. Into a four, so I'm getting 10 shots. There you go. Freeze. Yep. Six, four bin bolts. Here we go. Mm. One, two, I make three. Three damage each, go down to two, that kills them. The Venator is going to take shots at your Thunderkin. That big laser, if I remain stationary in the previous movement phase, it goes from D6 damage to six damage flat. And they say my army is silly. <laughs> and my Hunter Killer as well. Venator is hitting on twos. And if I did this properly, which I think I did, that 12 inch bubble is big. From the big gun, they all hit. Yep. So it wouldn't be on uh, not once, but five ups. I make one, fail one. One very dead dude. The Hunter Killer hitting on twos. Ho, ho, ho. And no rerolls. No rerolls, baby. Well, Secure and battle tank, shooting every single gun into the Hearthkin. Hearthkin that are in front of my head. Yep. Let's see if I can do a lot of volume. Let's do that again. Oh, come on. Goes to AP1, so I go to a five up. I make one, fail one, and ignore the first one I fail. All the three heavy bolters. Six, seven, eight, so eight, four up saves. I fail one, two, I fail three, four. Bog average. I have morale phase to go through. I lost a lot of dudes over there. Six. Leadership eight. But I roll a six, so I'm gonna lose that guy. Okay. So I'm gonna lose two more dudes. JT really rolled badly on that morale. He lost all but one. Wow. Um, I can roll sixes to save, apparently, and sixes in morale. The Hearthkin, our leadership eight. So I lost four, four, eight. We're good. And attacks two, and he's got a total of 18 points. Four primary, six from direct assault, three points on assassination, four on oaths a moment, and one for raise banner sign. That was rough. If I can get my beamers on this side of the table, though, I can really wreck tax day, so I gotta try. <laughs> it's a real back and forth game. It's crazy. I need to keep needing to piecemeal yeah. my castle yeah. to try to get objectives. And then that gives you targets to knock off those objectives. And That's it's exactly this it. real back and forth of who can control yeah. more. I'm still in this, but man, stuff's gotta start to go right. I've gotta start being able to hit my targets. I've gotta be able to get the wounds through. And at AP two and three with armor of contempt and two up, he's saving on threes, fours and fives and he's making those saves. There's nothing I can do about that. I have to keep putting in the pressure. I have to keep him off primary. But if this doesn't work, I'm gonna not be able to pressure him by turn four or five, and that's gonna be game. Start my turn. I'm gonna tick up to two command points. And I'm going to a mighty three. And I'm gonna take a look at what High Call Franz can see. Two judgment tokens on the Sakaran. All right. I'm going to give out the rerolls to that squad there. Is this squad here? Yeah, because I spent a command point on combat surgery, and I'm gonna bring back D3 models. I'm gonna bring back three. Nice. So after my command phase was done, start on my move phase. Personal site to site transport. He's also got a teleport crest. He does. Okay. So he's gonna come back in anywhere outside nine. I'm going to pop these guys inside here. Oh, interesting. So now the question that I have. Really? Yep. I want to have a command point. A command point. <sighs> nope, fail. Fortify shenanigans, so I'm gonna give them plus one toughness, and I'm gonna give them a six up ignore damage. Okay, on a six? Yeah, we make it. Off an 11. On your hearth guard have Etikar and plasma guns, and re-rolling ones to hit. Rerolling ones. Ones, yeah, there you go. Winning you on threes. Uh, one wound. Guess what? I still have a save. I may as well throw all my grenades at you too, because it's fun. 10, 12 with six dice. Uh, these wound you on fives though. I'm still gonna roll one, or not. All right, so Karen, e it's, where, it's where you get yours. First thing we're gonna do, I'm rolling the Magna Rail last. No, I'm not, I believe. Five, baby, automatically wound. But I just need to roll six. I believe. Oh, I mean, that's one better than the last time. Uh, two, three, nine damage. Eight. Here we go. Uh, winning you on fives. 
I make all but one, so that takes me down to three wounds remaining. So Sakarin has got three wounds left, and my broke your Thunderkin don't have a target. Um, I can't believe it's only got three wounds left. The Hearthkin Warriors. Yeah. I'm assuming Beamer and Bolters. Put Beamer and Bolters, yeah. And then the Magna Rail into the Stris. Four Bolters first. Force. Uh, I'm okay. Edicar and Plasma Beamer. Um, hits. Yep. I have a six up. And then you'll ignore it. He looks gone with it. And I take no wounds. Uh, Magna Rail coming down this way, because it has to. Mm -hmm. Because you declared it? Yep. Uh, hit some wounds. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that makes things easy. Yep. Uh, so I have a five up, like as if I had my vote shield still there. That is a save. That's ridiculous. So I'm actually going to shoot it at the Venator. Yep. Oh, so there's a six to hit. No, sequence ends. So just one mortal wound. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to declare a charge with a six. I think that gets me in. If I rush in and across the board, I stop him from moving any closer to take the objective. Right, your Hecaton is going to go into a Sakaren? Yep. What's his charge range? Uh, I think I need an 11. We're heading towards the crash. Meanwhile, my driver's yelling, yeehaw, ride. Oh, so close. Here they come. I need your hearth guard. Into the Astraeus. One command point for fire overwatch. Yep. Big gun first. So Macro accelerator first. shenanigans. One with a big gun. Three up. Storm bolter. Oh, still got more guns. With an eight. Here comes the call. Nope, call fails. So I'm gonna go with these guys. And when do you have fours? Fours. I make them all. Yeah, forget you would. You're not gonna interrupt with your strays. No. Threes, re rolling ones. This is true. But two have damage. Uh, woo, I do fail two. Dings me from 29 to 25. You get the fights back, sir. I do get to fight back. Seven four up. I ignore the first one. I failed two. Okay. Which means I fail one. He's touched my bases. He doesn't want me to consolidate forward to take the objective. Six attacks from the Astraeus going into your... I don't know why I'm rolling this, but... Because it's funny? You hit twice and you reroll once. You hit three times. That's really quite funny. Uh, all of them. You have a two up. The Strays, the Strays killed a, a... In close combat? In close combat. That is really funny. You lost a hearth guard to an yep. Strays in close combat. Yes. I'm going to assume that has bruised your ego. Um, I feel like I stepped in at Brown. And in my turn three, I've got 21 points, 12 objective primary and five on direct assault with four secondary still. Bring it down and ancestors are watching. I am on two objectives for eight points. Mm -hmm. I have this banner for one. The Venator is going to be plus one to hit. Do Blessing Alone and on the Strace again. So it's plus one to hit. We've got a bit of a back and forth here. My Strace is stuck, which means my big damage dealer is Gilliman. I've got to risk Gilliman going to the Land Fortress now and possibly put him out of position, possibly lose my rerolls. But the way that JT is stuffing me and my movement, I need to do the same thing and stuff him and his movement. I'm going to need, need to go there and make sure I have shots. Yeah. And the fact that you count as stationary is so big for the Sakaran Venator. At the end of the moon phase, I'm going to repair that Sakaran with the primary stack marine. Well, this is huge because it'll get you out of your bottom bracket, right? So I'm in middle bracket there. So I'm going to try to heal the Venator with the uh, tech marine uh, for one. So it's up to 12. So going into the shooting phase, yep. this Astraeus is going to try to kill my heart gun. They limited your shooting. And the goal is to get into your back lines. You've stuffed me. You are limiting my ability. To, uh, to gain points. This is the macro accelerator. Oh, baby. Oh, no. Five three ups. If you fill any of these. Oh! I fail two. Going so going down to zero command points to reroll, and I do. So I fail one, and I'm going to lose a single dude. Really awkward. These are bolters. Two. Two. Uh, I fail one. Storm bolter. One AP one. One two. I'm good. Sure. And then the uh, iron hail. <laughs> Uh, not a single one. So I'm going to take my pistols. Into my dudes. Into your dudes. Two four ups. Oh, I fail another one. You can die. All of my shots from the Venator is going into the call. 
Hi, Carl Franz says, you aren't a Volkite pistol. I'm not afraid of you. I'm bringing a command point going down to two. Okay. For martial position, one of my two neutron lasers hits. So hitting on twos. All of them, five ups. And I don't make any of them. Boom. It's a care and into for that character. Yes. Heavy bolters. Oh, woo. Auto cannons. So fives. I don't make any. All right, then Gilliman. Gilliman is going to try. Here comes Gilliman. Here comes Gilliman. That is eight. How far do you want to go? I think I want to stuff you in there. So like right here? Yeah. Gellerman is strength eight with the Emperor's Sword. I'm T8. He can't reroll the wound, but he can reroll the hit, and he's gonna hit me seven times. Any sixes are gonna do mortals. He could kill the Hecates on Land Fortress, but if he doesn't, then on my turn, I'm gonna get to shoot him in the face, and that should kill him. I hit on twos. I do give rerolls to myself. It's the sixes to wound I'm worried about, right? Yes. Give me a lot of sixes. Uh, There's one. I got one, so three total. It's AP four, so it's four up in bones. No. Not a single one? Not a single one. Wow, okay, so that's nine damage. Plus three mortals, D3 mortals. Only Two one wounds. mortal, yep. So the Hegaton Land Fortress is down to six wounds left. <sighs> My favorite thing to do is to fish for those mortal wounds. I just didn't get enough, the Land Fortress is still up. It helped though that JT flubbed all of his saves. You fight first here? I do. you have got two left. Come on, boys. They had reroll everything? Mm-hmm. So two hits, or three hits, sorry. Three, one. Three up. I fail it. Three attacks from the sergeant, two from the other two. And force wound. Two four ups. I make them both. Two defensive fights, right? You still have these guys. Oh, I do, yeah. So let's fight with them. Okay. He's already done. Seven attacks. Uh, four is auto wound. Yeah. You do two more wounds, Jimmy. I am down to 23. Okay, so six attacks from three. Don't roll one. Two up. We're good. <laughs> I would then. So D6 attacks from the Hecaton Land Fortress for five. Five attacks. I have no idea what my strength is. We're on threes. But a one is not enough. At the end of turn, I can give a judgment token to a unit that's on an objective. Here. Okay, so he's going up to three. Yeah, the Sakaran's going up to three. And attacks turn three, he sees him widening his lead. He's got 36 total points, 12 primary and nine direct assault for 21 total primary points. 15 on secondary, he's got seven assassinations, six oaths a moment, and two on raised banners. Puts our total score at the end of three, 36 to 21. Our turn threes were both a bit of a wash. I think though that I can pop Gulliman here. I have one command point stratagem to automatically hit with my Magna Rail, which is a ridiculous strength 14, AP five at this range, and 2D3 plus six. That is going to send Gulliman back to Ivrain. Like it's gonna wreck him. That's all I really need. Uh, I'm gonna chew through him with my other guns and just put the final nail in his coffin. Gulliman dies, I can swing over that Sakaran. I can heal with my Broker Forge Master and my Hecate's on Lap Forge. Everything can go, this is gonna work. Start of turn four, I, yes, you're, in, you're yeah. in a bit of a pickle, but I'm losing scoring units. You are. Okay, I'm gonna give him plus one to hit from the Broker Forge Master. These guys have to get out and then go eight inches. They're gonna get out and retrieve knocking data. Oh, okay. That's four points. All right, so I spend my command point on well-ordered retreat to Votan stratagem that any core um, can fall back and still shoot. Mm -hmm. And go grab that center objective. Man, this is such a cat and mouse game of that, of uh, getting those objectives. It really is. So I'm gonna start with my psychic phase now. Mm -hmm. Please give me a command point. I do. Warp charge five. Gonna smite. Close the target. With a six. It goes off. D3. Take one. Um, so I'm just going to fire here, and if I hit you, count to two. I'm going to bolt pistol you in the face over there, though. Pew! Yeah, I am. Pew! Yeah, I am. Wow. Take two AP1 bolt pistols. Pew, pew! Uh, AP1, so I'm okay. So three shots into the Venator at the back. Oh, well, one's gonna automatically wound you. So go to AP4, so I get a six up. Yeah. AP5, two damage. Uh, that's an Australian six again. My Graviton Cannon into him. If I hit, it's flat three damage. Remember, I healed him. Yeah, I know, but I get three shots. So uh, that's two auto wounds. Your AP3 goes to AP2, which is four ups. I have four ups. If I feel both of these, you gotta feel both. 
I feel one. I can't believe I still have a Sakarian battle tank on the table. Taking you in the face, Gulliman. Okay. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. My auto cannon first. What's his toughness? Uh, toughness six. Three up in three, so. I feel two. Take four damage. Bolt cannons hitting you on three. That's strength six. Winning on fours. I fail to. So you can reroll one of those, but I still have a magnum. I'm not making any of my saves. I'm down to two wounds before the magnum rail even fires. I'm going to spend one command point because to reroll. To reroll it so that he lives. So he's at two wounds right now. He lives. He does. Bolt cannons just took Gulliman down to two wounds. Uh, all I got left is the magnum rail and a command point, and I can automatically hit him. This is magic. So I use my hunter's mark. The magnum rail hits you. You don't get an invuln save. Dot roll and a one. <laughs> so all I have to do is roll a two to wound him, ignore his invuln save, and he actually has, it's AP five at this range, which means that Tack is gonna have a six up to save Gulliman's butt. But I have to roll a two. I didn't roll a two. I rolled a one. I'm, I'm crying inside. Gilliman, Gilliman survived. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you Gilliman. Uh, I'm gonna charge rubber butt <laughs> with my uh, broker Iron Master with it. Yeah, we'll just go to there. Okay. So Grimnar's charge, char Grimnar charge. This is where you just blur my mouth. <laughs> and I smile. No, 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 no. <laughs> Broker Iron Master. So Yes, I hit you twice. You make this three up, and I might cry. Oh, now you're making me feel guilty. I should. You should. You're a big meanie. <laughs> I'm spending the one command point. Gilliman, don't fail me now. Just. I'm gonna do that thing that you comment on all the time. Splitting fire. Well, this is splitting attacks. This is different. I'm splitting a flaming sword. So these are the four into the character. He's dead. Hitting on twos onto the Hikaton. I'm good. I'll oh. fight over there. I kill a dude. That's a wipe. Oh. And on my turn four, and I've got 31 total points. I just can't seem to bring those tanks down, and I'm going to need to hurry up and do it. Otherwise, I'm going to lose. Yeah, and it's... I have my work cut out for me, but it's still possible. There's a lot of points for me on the table. It's just a matter of am I going to have the assets to get away with it. Because the last thing he needs is to die by an explosion. All right, so that allows me to still stay on three objectives. So that tech marine is going to try to heal the Sakaran. Uh, that is three, so it's back up to six. Gilman is going to fire into... Because he can fall back and shoot. He can fall back and shoot. He's, he does have the chapter tactic. I fail one. Venator mm -hmm. is going to fire the big laser into the two uh, hearth guard. Yeah. And he's going to fire the heavy bolter into those guys in the back. Okay, so heavy bolters first. Hitting on twos, because I said be better. Five trips. Here we go, boys. I'm gonna lose a dude. Three neutron lasers. I think that'd be an even count. Twos. I make one, fail one. Command reroll. I make it. Let's try to bring the Hecaton down. Hitting on twos. I'm telling you there's a good chance. So I need four ups. Uh, I fail one. Okay, so it's down to three. He's got three wounds left. So the heavy bolter. Come on! Make them all. The iron hail. Come on, do a little bit more for me. Now, now we're going to the hospital. Seven. Hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. Yep. Six, four ups. This is rough. Mm -hmm. I believe you. that I failed two. Failed two, exactly. Oh. The final Sakaran yep. is going to take one heavy bolter mm -hmm. into the last. He does have three wounds. Yep. Because I think I need the volume yep. on the Hecaton. Burn mm -hmm. a single command point for martial precision. One auto cannon shot is gonna auto hit, and I'm gonna roll these. I'm on my mid-tier bracket, so yeah. I'm hitting on fours, uh, re-rolling ones. Yeah. Uh, nope, you are. Boom shakalaka, five!
damage! Yes. Three damage. Is it three damage? It's three oh, damage. No. It's a three damage auto cannon. Oh, wait. Oh, close. Oh, it's so close. Three heavy bolters are going into your Thunderkin. Yeah. And I do. Okay. So he lives? He lives. Both. There are still a lot of points. There is, yeah. So I'm going to uh, start my command phase with combat surgery. Okay, so you're spending your... Spending my command point to get three models back. Grimnir goes up. Mm -hmm. And now we move five. I'm out of command points. Let's see if I can get a command point back. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I do, but I peril. He dies. I'm going to smite Mr. Gulliman. Okay. Here we go. With a seven. Okay, you just need to do... D3 mortals? Three mortals! Uh, all right, so Gilman is down. Nothing I can do. Gilman goes down. However, on a four plus, Gilman can get back up. I haven't done this very successfully this year. You know you haven't, yes. So, but, you know, there's the first. Oh. That's a one. So Gilliman is goodness. down. All right, so Gilliman gives me a point for bring it down, and he gives me two points for honor the, for the ancestors are watching. I think I've got three guys that can target that Venator, plus the railgun, and then these five dudes can target here. Wow, okay, you're, you're really going for it. I have to, to score as many points as I can. Ion Storm, spending my last command point. Ion, is it a six to wound? It is. Okay. So you'll take a mortal in addition. I have a three up. You do. Uh, I make it, but I do take the mortal, so I'm down to nine down wounds. To nine. Um, does my Magna Rail hit you? It doesn't. Into the Sakaran, here we go. Four AP, two, two damage each. Two damage each. Yeah. So if I fail three of these, it's gone. He's gone. And I failed, failed two. two, so he's down to two wounds remaining. All right, so that means I got this guy, and I really wanted him to target there. I have to shoot here. So here we go. Three up, it lives. Three up. That's a six. It lives. So here's what we do. We charge with the hearthkin. Four inches. Grimner's got to get in and eat a seven. Oh, come on, dice. There we go. Oh, there you go. All right. Let's try the Grimnir first, because she can actually kill you on two wounds, right? Three. Wow. It's an AP two and D3 damage. Oh, I don't Finally! make it. Finally! I don't make it, but you need to roll high. <laughs> I roll a one. All right, so oh, let's see if one. these guys do it. Touch, 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 touch. Let's do the sergeant. Here we go. So three up. He's okay. 14. Fours will automatically wound you. If I don't roll a single one, it lives. I do not roll a single one. Not a single one. <laughs> We've seen that scene before. My last kick at the can here was not enough. I'm gonna finish with 41 points, but unfortunately, Tack is gonna run away with this. Tack's final score is 71 points. He's got 45 primary and 26 secondary. That puts our final score at 81 to 51 in favor of your winner, Tack. What a finish. Apparently, Armor of Contempt on a 2-up save is really strong. That or I really need to stop using Steve Touch Dice. Special thank you to this episode's sponsor, Cuttlefish Colors. That's it from us, folks. Until the next time you see us in the far-flung future of a grimdark universe, play on. Dice tell stories. And their story today was... Ultramarines. No. <laughs> um, dice definitely tell stories. Tack brought a really goofy list that I had a lot of fun playing. We were back and forth so much in the in between in the movement phases that it felt like a real chess match. I really enjoyed that. I wish I could have rolled better. I wish Tack didn't roll as well. Um, I wish that I was six foot four. I, I wish that I was a baller. I wish I had a girl on the phone. I would call her. Uh, I mean, there's all these things. I'm just glad I didn't come in third place, boss. <laughs>